Trojan Sports Now. Hello and welcome to Trojan Sports Now. I'm Amy Austin. And I'm Clay Eggers. Stick around as we bring you the latest news and scores from Troy Athletics. The Trojan women's basketball team finished off their home schedule with a big win against Georgia State on Saturday. Khadijah Torbert has the details. Not only was it the last game of the season in Trojan Arena, but the ladies also broke the record for the first time winning seven games in a row since 1993, all on senior night. We're so thankful to have another win in Trojan Arena tonight. It was our 19th win, um, and we had a lot on our minds tonight. It was senior night, and we said, you know, goodbye to our four seniors in Trojan Arena. It was their last game, and that's an emotional thing, and, and we wanted them to have a good senior night and go out with a win. Of course, the most important thing was getting this win, but still in the makes, we were hoping to um, play a lot of people and to begin to prepare to be our best and have as deep of a team as possible when we get to the conference tournament. Um, so a lot of those goals were met. Um, we did have a good senior night. We got the win, and uh, we got to play a lot of people and put them in situations where they had to produce so we could win. Among the goals that were met at Saturday's game was the support of the fans and the atmosphere they brought with them to cheer the seniors on to victory. I would really like to thank all the people that were here supporting us. We could really hear them. We could really feel it. Um, and uh, it made for a great atmosphere in Trojan Arena. And that was a great way to see the seniors off. And it's a good thing for us to build on in our program to recruit to for next year. It took the Lady Trojans just over five minutes into the game to take a double-digit lead over the Panthers. Um, most things are predicated on us causing turnovers. I think we had 40-something points behind their turnovers tonight. So, um, you know, they've kinda, they have kind of they know they're good at that. They know that's our game. So they get themselves ready in warm-ups and in pregame. And uh, they know they have to get up and do a good job on defense for us to score high numbers. Coach Rigby explains how it feels to be in third place in the Sun Belt standings. I mean, it feels great. Um, the fact that we have one game left and if we win it, we could have a 20-win season because that's one of the first goals I set when I got to Troy was to, try to have a 20-win season. And there's, of course, been a lot of ups and downs along that road. But um, we just need to uh, prepare as well as we can for South Alabama and uh, try to take care of business and have that 20-win season and go into, pan into um, to conference tournament with as much confidence as possible. Kitty just forward, Trojan Sports now. The Trojans are now 14-5 and five in conference play and sitting at the number three seed for the conference tournament. And the men were unable to send their seniors out on a winning note as the Trojan men fell to Georgia State on senior night. Troy lost to the Panthers 75-64 in their final home game of the season. Musa abdul Alim, one of the two seniors, scored 12 straight points for the Trojans to close out the game on his way to a game high of 19 points. Freshman Wesley Person was the only other Trojan to score in double figures as he poured in 12 points, which allowed him to set a new Troy Division freshman scoring record with 387 points. The loss officially eliminated Troy from the Sun Belt tournament contention. The basketball team will look for a win as they close out their season. Their conference record is 5-14, while the Trojans' overall record is 10-18. Troy's softball team made it to the championship game of the Stetson Invitational. Troy faced off against the host team Stetson. Troy fell to Stetson 9-3. The Trojans took the early lead and were ahead 2-0, headed into the bottom of the fifth. Stetson pounded out runs at the plate to score eight runs in the inning. Troy was only able to answer that rally with one run, which Stetson quickly answered in the bottom of the eighth. Sophomore Becca Hartley was the offense for the Trojans as she went two for three, one of those hits being a home run. The softball team then hosted Georgia Tech for a midweek game and gave the fans some extra softball for the night. Khadijah Torbert has all the details. The Troy softball team goes 11 innings against Georgia Tech for the victory Tuesday night with Amanda Winters with her third walk-off of the season. There's really no explanation. I mean, we, our team knows how to fight, and we fought to the very end. The last pitch, we were all just fighting. So, well, I knew JC was on the mound throwing her heart out, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to disappoint her. So I just came out with the best guy I had for her. Coach Mullins has one word for the actions her team displayed throughout that game. Just fight. I mean, our girls have a lot of fight in them. It wasn't pretty at all times, but our pitching staff did a tremendous job to keep us in that ball game, and our hitters fought despite the fact they had not had a lot of success. And I think just the fight that we showed um, is a testament to our kids. The Trojans fall back from being down three runs and scored three of their own in the bottom of the six. Coach Mullen says they are never out of the fight and commends Amanda on trusting herself and fighting through. And then Amanda Winters, she did not have a great game at the beginning, but she fought her way and she trusted herself and she, she got a reward for it. 
we, we try to talk a lot about the late innings or our innings, and so we're never out of the fight. And again, I, I have to give credit to our pitching staff and our defense. They kept, kept us within reach of that game, and when we're within reach, we can we have a lot of fight in us, and the late innings were our innings, and I could not be more proud of just the fight, again, that our girls had. Not only did this game give the team momentum, but it also gave them a positive outlook for the upcoming conference play. Well, I'm extremely excited. I think this gives us some momentum into this weekend so we can start conference and just get ready to go. Khadija Torbert, Trojan Sports Now. The softball team is now 13-8 and eight on the season. The baseball, team, the baseball team took on Southern Mississippi over the weekend. The Trojans took a game one and Southern Miss took the second game of the series. It all came down to the rubber match on Sunday. I was at the game for all the action. On a rainy Sunday, the Trojans took on Southern Mississippi for the third time over the weekend series, but fell short once again, five to nothing. And you got to give McMahon credit for Southern Miss today. He just uh, uh, never did allow us to get anything going, any momentum going offensively. Uh, so I give him a lot of credit. It wasn't only the defense that was having problems, but offensively, Troy struggled as McCann struck out eight Trojans in just 113 pitches. We couldn't get enough balls off the center of the barrel. Uh, got five hits, only made a couple of loud outs. And generally when we're swinging the bat pretty well, even our outs are pretty hard and off the barrel. So those hits were spread out. Uh, he did a nice job of that. Never could really uh, get a big inning kind of going. Um, that You have to credit the pitcher for that. As the Golden Eagles racked up runs, Pierce says they have to improve on the way they approach their games when adversity takes hold. I didn't like us uh, from the very beginning on Championship Sunday. I didn't think we had the mentality for that, so that's the first thing we got to got to improve. We got to come with a better mentality. Despite the loss, head coach Bobby Pierce says there are positives about the way his players played the game. However, it wasn't enough for the win. Dave Hall had a great day today. Nick Masonia's playing well. Uh, not enough uh, good things around that as a unit. Uh, definitely need to uh, get some things kind of squared away this week uh, before we move into conference play next weekend. After Sunday's game, the Trojans were left with a record of 1-3 against the Golden Eagles. Clay Ager, Trojan Sports Now. The Trojans then played Alabama State on, in Montgomery. However, the Trojans could not snap their losing streak as they fell to the Hornets 12-8. Troy would take this lead in the second and third innings, but ASU would come back to secure the lead by scoring five runs in both innings to gain momentum. To start the third, Clay Holcomb would score before Nick Masonia hit his first home run of the season to give Troy the lead 7-6. to six. Alabama State would once again respond with five runs of five hits and add another single run in the sixth to never look back as Troy adds another loss to their streak. The Trojans will now prepare to open up conference play on the road against UL Lafayette. The women's golf team hit the road to compete in Kiowa Island, South Carolina at the Kiowa Island Classic. The Trojans finished in 7th place in a pool of 40 teams. Fatima Fernandez-Cano was the lowest scorer for Troy. She tied for 14th place with a 220. The overall team score was 911 as Troy shot 298 on day 1, 300 on day 2, and finished out day 3 with a 313. Cano helped the Trojans get their 7th place finish with her round on day 2. She shot a 3 over 75, which tied Troy for 14th place. And head coach Bart Barnes said he was pleased with his team's performance. Not too bad. You know, we'd like to see that last day maybe go a different way, so to speak. But, you know, seventh out of 40 teams, um, still feeling pretty good about the week. Generally, we put ourselves in an opportunity to try to win a golf tournament. The ladies didn't back off from it. They went for it. And, and uh, you know, as a coach, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with, with that. This seventh place win is the highest finish for the women's team for the spring season so far. The women's tennis team continues to win as they added to their win streak UL Lafayette 6-1. In doubles play nearly made a sweep as Trang Hyun and Anya Kosovic dominated their match 8-1. On court two, Juan Zhao and Lene Skyberg won their match 8-3, while Sanae Oda and Brooke Durden won 7-1. In singles play, Troy was dominated, dominated as Hyun won the number one singles. Kosovic would clinch the number three, while Oda and Durden would grab the number two and six singles matches to get the win. The Trojans will take the tennis court this weekend as they host a UTSA at the Lunsford Tennis Complex. And the men's tennis team is currently 11-5 on the season, and its top-notch performances have acquired them national recognition. The Intercollegiate Tennis Association has ranked the Troy men's tennis team at number 62 in the country. Troy has won six of its last seven matches and is currently 4-0 in conference play. The latest match for the Trojans was against a ranked opponent. South Alabama was number 47 in the country, and Troy defeated the Jaguars 4-3.
Their ranking is the first for Toy in over four years when they were ranked at number 70 in 2011. Still to come on Trojan Sports Now, we'll have a preview of the women's basketball team's latest game before the conference tournament. But first, I had the chance to sit down with softball assistant coach Taylor Smart. Stick around for more Trojan Sports Now.